Hello guys, it's your fellow investor here with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about cool technologies with a ticker symbol WARM. W A R M. I'll tell you everything you need to know about this company, the basic fundamentals, more advanced ones, latest news, their security details and how many people roughly know about this company. This company is being traded on the OTC market, therefore if your broker does not support OTCs, you won't be able to get this stock. So some of the brokers I know which uh, should be supporting penny stocks are Charles Schwab, Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, E-Trade, Interactive Brokers. Uh, there's been just a few I showed, you know, one of the more popular ones who offers OTC availability. So definitely check them out if you haven't. I'm not being sponsored by anyone, it, nor the brokers, nor the companies, which I speak about. If I were sponsored, I would definitely tell you guys. Otherwise, I could get banned from the, even YouTube. So uh, that's just to all people who ask me if I'm being paid. I'm not. But before we begin... I'd like to ask if you could click on that beautiful red subscribe button and join the community of investors. There's over 14,000 people and I'm really grateful for that and we're growing every day. As well as smashing the like button really helps me out to get this video to as many people as possible and helps the channel grow. With that being said, let's get into the company. As we can see, I've already started with the 5 years chart because I wanted to show you that this company is not overbought, it's not being like really pumped as we can see it's three cents you know we can see it was worth way more like almost 10 times its price than it's right now and we can see it's almost at the bottom it's not very overpriced and that's what i wanted to point out now let's head into their website to see what they actually are and what they offer so as we can see this is their website and they offer motors generators and pumps where is 107 billion dollars market and mobile generation with over 100 billion dollars market that's cool but we like to know more so if we can see uh, we ha we can check out their possibilities their products and know the latest information so we'll definitely check it out but first i'd like to stay on their main page for a while and we can see there's the first solution thermal dispersion if we hover over that with our mouse cursor we can see that take thermal technology from the 1880s and give it it new capabilities to increase product efficiency and effectiveness as well as lower maintenance and manufacturing costs in a number of industries well that sounds like a no-brainer to me and solution two is mobile electric power cool technologies mobile generation system transforms any class 3 to 8 truck into mobile generator that is going to be very needed uh, in the future in 5 to 50 years or maybe even more it's hard to tell where will the industry be heading but for now it seems like it's going to be heading towards evs hydrogen and such here if you want to you can have a listen or watch watch their uh, executive members uh, the president ceo coo cfo and such i will not play them because it would take us a lot of time and I will put the link of their website in the description so you can go it on your own. They have 7 patents awarded and 7 patents pending so it's good to see that it's their mode. And we want to know more about the company so we're just gonna click on that and see where it will take us. So we are now in their about section and I'll just quickly you know highlight some important details because there's a lot of text and I don't want to read it all. So in February 2011 this company was founded to commercialize a single patent, a composite heat pipe, a game changing solution to a universal problem. Heat affects anything that moves or generates power. Heat degrades, warps or causes devices to fall outright. The solution is to cool or remove the heat. Cooling lengthens product life and increases power. It's going to be even needed with electric vehicles. There will be some kind of cooling and with their help, this could really go well, very well hand in hand. As they say, in other words, cooling is green. And when addressing a problem section, what is I think most important is that heat pipes effectively remove heat without using pumps or moving parts. An independent test demonstrated that cool technologies increase motor efficiency by 1 to 2 points and improve electric motor performance by 20 to 40%. So we could be talking about kind of a high end version but in the penny stock region you can apply it to any kind of electric motor any kind of engine so you know the possibilities are limitless i could continue on there's a lot of interesting information but i want to keep my videos nice short and clean therefore again 
check the links in the description. You have a plenty of cards and links to other important due diligence such as SEC filings, legal documents, interviews, presentations and such. So now let's head into their corporate releases regarding their latest news. As we can see, the latest news were on March 5th, so that's about a week ago. So let's just read it. And if you remember, like two weeks ago, I think there was a big change of temperature in Texas from I don't know, like 10 to 15 degrees to minus 10 or 15, 20. It's been a huge shock for the people there. People died and plenty of them lost electricity and it was a chaos. It was almost a no man's land. So, uh, and this, this company came up with a solution. As the power was lost in Texas throughout the course of Storm Yuri, Mr. Hassett points out how the strategic placement of work trucks retrofitted with Cooltex MG system could have provided reliable power to large swaths of communities across the state. To illustrate further, a single in-chassis MG offered by the company is capable of generating power for demands of a hospital, critical utilities such as municipal water supply, gas station, grocery store and could keep a suburban street, city block or apartment building powered and warm for weeks while outages persist or the grid is repaired. Even here mentioning the possible wildfires in California, floods, blizzards, tornadoes and such, so this company could really come in handy with the uncontrolled upcoming climate change consequences. So this is very very interesting and you know good future outlook I would say. Now to their security details, as we can see their market cap is only 17.8 million dollars. That's a very small market cap in my opinion and what's the best thing about it is that there's only 474 million unrestricted outstanding shares. So we can see they have very small market cap and not that many outstanding shares. So you know, if people will get into this, we could see some big price moves, but that's what if was that. So it's only a theory and I'm definitely not trying to pump this stock in any way. I'm just trying to provide you information about this company. And last but not least, if we check out stock tweets, we can see how many people are like aware of it. So if we check out the number of watchers here, we can see there's 900 watchers. So that's a very, very small amount of people. I would call it that nobody knows about this stock because if people know about this stock, there are at least few thousands right and if people are very much aware of the stock or the penny stock there's tens of thousands just like with HCMC or you know with Tesla there are hundreds of thousands so it's very unknown company so that was my take on the company called cool technologies with liquor symbol warm I hope I brought you some value if I did definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new upcoming videos as well as smashing the like button really helps the channel out to attract more viewers, to defeat the algorithm, to get this video out to as many people as possible. Also, let me know down in the comment section below if you heard about this company, if you are aware of it, if you thought about investing in, or if there are some potential red flags, which I haven't covered in this video. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.